Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Emma back to kick off round 5 for Group A. Ooh, exciting times! And let's have a look at our fight card for this session, shall we? Just have a look at our main event of this session. It is a clash of the top two, both teams 4-0, Black Beauty going up against Sunlight Rabbit. And I suspect the winner of that match will probably go on to win the group which could be key going into the knockout rounds. We also have Dexing going up against Asta, both of those two sitting mid-table at the minute. I will say, a win for Dexing and a defeat for Crown Over in their match against Conciliatory Past will mark the end for Crown Over in this tournament. A massive match that is against Conciliatory Past, but at first we got Gold going up against Rainbow. Right the ho then, in the red corner for Gold we got Stegosaurus. Both of these two in need of a win. Well, Gold has their win against Conciliatory Pass, but win Raybone still winless in this tournament. Right, we're in the Alpha Arena yet. Yeah? Hero Slash! Which is good news for Raybone, because they do actually have an Alpha Dinosaur. Right, in the blue corner for Raybone, we got Paris Dino Tector. Kind of surprised Raybone is winless in this tournament at the minute. I know they're making their debut. I thought they had a solid team. I thought they'd at least got one win at this stage, but you know, they have got three losing bonus points, which does tell you how close their matches have been. It's not like they've been totally swapped. And those three losing bonus points does do give them a chance, and a win here would put pressure on Dexin and Asta going into their matchup as well. But yeah, Group A, really unexpected to be honest. I thought Black Beauty would do well, but Sunlight Rabbit, wow, 4-0. And Conciliatory Pass sitting at 3-1. and one. Those are the two big surprises in this group. But it is Raybone getting the early egg attack on the board. You know what they say? The early Overraptor gets the egg. <laughs> and what we got here? We got Fawn Web. That's going to add extra damage. Paris does have tight advantage here. Raybone can fill that Dino Tector bar up as well. Right, that means that the next hit the Paris does is going to do a crap ton of damage, but it doesn't matter because Stegosaurus is on low health anyway. Ooh, that's a tie. That fills up the bar. A tie is probably good for Rainbow here, in all honesty. Oh, but that's not, though. Gold responding with their first big shot of the match. It's a quick, it's a spike arrows. Now, even with a type disadvantage, Stegosaurus still hits really hard, so this is going to... Look at that! Even things out right away. Ooh, but it is Paris getting that egg attack. Going to take down the Steg. And give Raybone a 1-0 lead. Okie dokie. Coming in next for gold, we've got Acrocanthosaurus. Now, this Acrocampasaurus has been pretty good for gold so far in this tournament, I will say. It has got a few good hits. But remember, Alpha Radrosaurus comes in next after this Paris with terrain advantage. So do take that into account. Oh, that's a big hit from Paris. That's going to be a crucial hit as well because that fills the Dino Tector. So you know what that means. Do you not take that on? This could be a big moment in this match. If Paris gets the hit here, that will probably put Raybone 2 0 up with terrain advantage to come as well. Can Gold get this hit and stop that ultimate lead? Oh, he can't! And that's a crit as well. That's going to be a massive hit from Raybone. And that's going to put him 2 0 up. Gold in big, big trouble now. But, you know, Ampelosaurus is no joke. We have seen it come pull matches back for gold. Maybe in vain, but it has done it. Right, coming in third for gold, we've got Ampelosaurus. Well, gold really needs it to perform here to get back in this contest. It's got Super Fairy to worry about as well. And Rajas Alpha Rag with terrain advantage. Although, it will have tight disadvantage against this Ampelosaurus, so that is a saving grace. But yeah, Raybo well on top now after that ultimate leaf. 
tie. Okay, one tie will finish off Paris. And there it is. So Paris going down, but it definitely did its job. Okie dokie, coming in next for Rainbow, we have got Alpha Rajasaurus. It will get the next hit in the match, and it will be a rocket. I can't remember what his rock move is. Okay, he's Magma Blaster, I thought it was. Well, the Magma Blaster won't get triggered, but so it'll be a normal move. Dun, bam. Right, let's get terrain hit over with. And the Magma Blaster doesn't get triggered, so Titus Advantage won't apply, but yeah, Radiosaurus's rock move is relatively weak anyway, so not, mu not too much damage done there. But Gold really needs to get some hits in this match and needs them quick! That's a crit that's going to do more damage. Well, he's another loser bonus point secured. But from the looks of things here, losing is not going to be happening for Raybow. Oh, hang on. That's a crit. Gold finally getting a big hit in this match. But needs a lot more than that. Oh, it's another crit. It's got the ocean panic. Oh, he freaking killed it! Wait, what? Why did it do extra damage? Hang on, what type is armor? So, can't be counter type. It can't be hunter type. Because it had less health. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Right, coming in third for Rainbow, we got a Super Ferrisinosaurus. Awake mode on three, I believe. Hang on, I need to double check. <laughs> yeah, wake a mode on three. I have to double check just to be sure. But, you know, if they get a hit, I don't think we're going to get that far. Okay, that's a tie. Can gold salvage a losing bonus point? Oh, they get another hit. This is a good comeback from gold. Amplosaurus doing it again. Honestly, gold should just lead with this thing. Right, that's once. One hit, and they'll get the losing bonus point. Ah, oh, but they don't get it. Oh, that could be crucial. The Pherazinosaurus gets it done for Raybo. And well, breathing a bit of relief for it because the Amplosaurus was getting some hits. But it is Raybo's victory. They finally get over the line. It's not the bonus point victory that they could have got because they were well on top, but they'll take the win nonetheless. And Gold, well, they still ought to play for, but they're going to have to get two wins probably to get out of this group. I mean, Raybo likewise as well. But that's a crucial victory for Raybo now. Right, on to our next matchup, where we could see the first casualty of this tournament. Well, here we go. In the red corner, for Crown Over, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. And well, I'm going to put it simple. Defeat here, and it's game over. But a win does give them a glimmer of hope. But they ideally, they need a bonus point win. And to get that, this Atrox is going to have to perform. But in the blue corner for Conciliatory Pass, we've got Irritator. There's plenty at stake for them as well in this matchup. Because the next two matchups for Conciliatory Pass, Black Beauty and Sunlight Rabbit, the top two. And a win here would probably secure top four for Conciliatory Pass. So there's plenty at stake for them too, it's not all about Crown Over. Okay, that's a good start. A good a hit. It's a oh, it's a triple headbutt. Boosh! Can crown over, dig themselves back from the brink. Is the attack boost activated in there? That's definitely gonna help. Oh, another triple head, but that's going to max up the attack boost. This is a good start from Cryonova. Boosh! This Irritator has been an absolute irritant for opponents in this tournament. But, so far, struggling to land a shot. Another attack boost there. Oh, there's a shot! That's the warning effect as well. Attack boost is going to activate. Irritate the getting its first hit of the match. And it's going to be a big one. That's it activates the attack boost. Mm. 
That's a tie. Oh, Crown Over needs to keep this Atrox alive. Okay, there's a crit. Crown Over's going to get the 1-0 lead. Boosh, boosh. And if he, can, if he can get a crit on the Desantorurus, that's going to really help. Remember, we saw Blood Moon in, against Dino Hunter. Three big crits, which basically was the reason why he won 3-0. Right, coming in next for conciliatory packs, we've got the Santa Ruras. Um, It's not been as impressive as the Irritator has, but it has definitely proved its worth in this team, particularly against Aster in the first match. Oh, that's a hit. I think this might be lethal for Atrox, or it might just survive. Okay, just survived. Okay, but that tile will finish it off. And Atrox goes down. Right, coming in next for Crown Over, we got Sukamimus. Sukuminusa. And this thing really has struggled to impose itself in tournament in these in this tournament. It's gonna have to perform now. The problem is it's gonna have if it does take out the Desantorurus, Super Tribe comes in with type advantage over it. So it's going to be very difficult for Crown Over to get the bonus point win here. Needed the Atrox to do more in my opinion. Oh, that's going to put Conciliatory Pass in the lead. It's a Venom Fang as well. That's going to poison the Super Mimus. That's not good. Oh no, poison. Yeah, not much damage, but the poison is going to wear down Sukumimus here. Crown Oak needs to get a hit here. There's a hit. A galley rush. That's going to help. Alpha dice. This, <laughs> this needs to be a sex. Oh, and it is. Crown Over hitting the jackpot. Oh, look at that. Can the Gallimimus finish it off? Oh, it doesn't. But that was a massive hit for Crown Over. Is their luck going to turn in this tournament? Okay. That's the Santa Urus down. The Futaba Cannon coming in. Crown Over opening a good lead here. But like they said, that Sukumimus is going to have tight disadvantage against the Triceratops when it comes in. The saving grace is that its only water move is Futaba Cannon, which only gets triggered after a victory. So I wouldn't say it's that much of a type disadvantage. Right, coming in third for conciliatory pass, we got Super Triceratops. Awaken mode on three. That awaken mode could be key in this match. Sukai! And like I said, the trike will only get type advantage when the Futaba cannon is triggered. Ooh, okay, there's a lightning spear that's going to do some damage. That's once. Oh, that's Super Miners down. Try gets the hit. The chance for the bonus point victory is gone for Crown Over. But coming in third, we've got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Well, can they at least win this match? Alpha Chasmosaurus coming in here. That banana surprise is going to have to perform. It's got the counter blitz as well, so it's got protection. It's still got the awaken mode to worry about. Now, the saving grace is if Crown can get the hit, with, hit with, when the Triceratops is awake, and the Triceratops will lose half its health. So it will be easier to kill. Ooh, that's a crit. That's a welcome crit from Crown over there. Right, that's twice. Ooh, a banana surprise. Now, if the move removal effect activates here, that could be key. That will, in theory, stop conciliatory pass from getting a hit, but the move removal doesn't activate. Well, it's going to get a losing bonus point out of this at least, but that's not good enough. 
Oh no! It's a big crit from the trike! And a lightning axe, I think. Nope, electric charge. Okay. Okay, that's okay. One hit. Can crown over get this win? Oh, I think he's done it. Is that hit gonna do it? That's gonna do it. And crown over on the fifth time of asking. Finally gets a win. It did come at a cost though, because conciliatory pass did get a losing bonus point. And that could be key in the, going into the last round of group matches. But crown over finally gets a win. And that gives him at least a glimmer of hope. And conciliatory pass, well, is probably going to be a la nervous last two matches, given their opponents. They'll probably sleep easier knowing that he at least got the losing bonus point. Right, on to our third match. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Dexin, we've got Utoraptor. Dexin, look, we get back to winning ways in this matchup. A win here would put them on 11 points, which would be just to put just below the top two. Level on points with conciliatory past. In the blue corner for Asta, we have got Alpha Kendrasaurus. Alpha Asta looking to make it three wins in a row here. A win for them would move them above Dexon in the table to fourth, which would be crucial. And this Kentrosaurus does have terrain advantages, so it will get the first hit, which will be a banana surprise. Hmm, I don't know which way this is going to go. I think we're in for a good match here. I hope. <laughs> Whee! Okay, so there's the hit. Let's get some, let's get some moves generated. Ooh, Dexin getting the first shot of the match. A biting win there. And we are pretty much even Stevens. Okay, that's a tie. That's going to trigger the Quake Saber. Ooh, but there'll be no Quake Saber there. Instead, it'll be a Ninja attack. This is a better start from Dexin compared to their last two matches, where they have started slow. But this is this is much better. Oh, that's a tie. Asta can't re hasn't got a hit since after rain hit. And that's another tie, and that's going to be curtains for Alpha Kentrosaurus. So despite the terrain advantage, it is Dexin that's 1-0 up. Right, coming in next for Asta, we've got Megalosaurus. All secret moves, not much to say really about this Megalosaurus. Ooh, that's a tie. The Raptor is getting worn down with the ties, even though Aster's not getting many hits. Oh, that's another hit from Uta Raptor. Okay, the secret move has been triggered though, so that will limit the damage. Oh, wow, that wasn't really much damage at all. But Aster can't afford to take more damage. The Megalosaurus is taking damage. That's, a, that's another tie. That's another tie. Oh, come on, he still didn't kill it. Okay, finally the Uteraptor goes down. Finally Asta gets a hit. <laughs> but the Megalosaurus did take quite a beat in there. Oh, you don't eat. Coming in next for Dexon, we've got Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus star. Dexon still has a decent lead in this match. And I'm sure one hit from that paper hit or a crit will probably kill Megalosaurus. Because his spinal is heroic type. Okay, that's another tie. 
That's a another tie. Ooh, Asta getting a hit there. Asta finally getting some shots in this match. Okay, but that is going to be curtains for Megalosaurus. Okie dokie, coming in third for Asta, we got Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus. <laughs> Not only is it a mouthful, but it's also a handful. Can it get can it get Asta back in this match? And can it get them this win? Well, so far, Dexin has been on top. But Asta is starting to get some hits back in this match. So we shall not count them out yet. And that's a good hit. Now, the problem that Asta does have here is that as long as this Spino is still in play, if it hits with a crit, that crit's going to do a lot of damage because of the heroic buff. So that is something that Asta needs to be wary of here. Cannot afford to get hit by that Hydro Cutter. Okay, Dexin gets another hit there. Spino doing its work. Dare I say it, Hydro Cutter would probably be lethal. Ooh, and Dexin knows it. Oh, that's not good. That's it. It's all over. I don't think Magna Chris Status is going to survive this. Oh, no, it did, it did. Can Dexin get the bonus point? Yes, he can. It is Dexin's victory game. Back to winning ways against Asta and getting the bonus point victory as well. Wow, that Hydro Cutter really cut Lambiosaurus down to size. <laughs> Righty ho then. On to our main event, which should be an interesting one between two 4 0 teams. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Black Beauty, we got Super Eel Carcaria with a bit of lag. <laughs> uh, await the mode on three. Black Beauty enjoying a very strong tournament so far, currently sitting top of this group. And a win here, and they'll be staying top. However, in the blue corner for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got a Triceratops, the orange Triceratops. Sunlight Rabbit also enjoying a really good tournament so far, especially for their debut. Really, really impressive. One of the standout newcomers. But this will be by far their biggest test so far. I do feel the winner of this match will probably go on to top this group. Uh, we don't have any Earth types in this matchup, so we don't have to worry about terrain advantages. So let's get on with it. Ooh, that's a lightning strike. Black. Sunlight Rabbit striking first. <laughs> Got my words mixed up then. Ooh. That's a strike for us, a power drain from Black Beauty. Oh no, it's gonna suck the life out of the trike. Whoosh. Right, that's twice. One more for the Awaken mode. Ooh, Triceratops gets that hit. A Gatlin Spark coming in here. Um, it won't be lethal, so Eokarkiri will get the chance of the Awaken hit. Right, here we go. Elementor Fusion. Well, Jaco Fusion. <laughs> oh, that's a massive crit from Black Beauty. Big shot from the Arcaria. That's going to be curtains for Triceratops. Righty-ho then. Coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we've got a Patasaurus. Patasaurus star. All secret moves. Not much to say about this fella, to be honest. <laughs> but it is Black Beauty striking the first big shot of this match. Okay, that's a two. That's a tie. Oh, oh come on, the Eukarkarian survived. <laughs> Ooh, and it gets a cheap hit there with the Lily NQ at the come as well. 
<laughs> that means it'll survive another tie. And well, there is that tie. And of course it survives. But it won't survive this. Look at that area biting the dust, but it did do some damage to that Apatosaurus. Now, coming in next for Black Booty, we got the Blitz type Brachyceratops. And because it is Blitz type, you know the deal. It's going to go for them two crits. And a crit, I think, will be lethal for Apatosaurus. Provided, any, provided that his secret moves don't get triggered. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, all of its moves have been triggered. Ooh, but the Brachyceratops does get the crit. The Onion Gira dives to come. However, that's not enough to kill a Patasaurus. Can Sunlight Rabbit get off a secret move here? Oh, they can't. That going to finish the job. And Black Beauty extends their lead. Right, coming in third for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got Super Ankyceratops. Awaken mode on three. And, and Sunlight Rabbit will need the Awakened hit, I feel, if they want to stay unbeaten in this tournament. So we won't count them out yet, but, you know, there's unfamiliar territory for the newcomer. But Black Beauty looking really good in this match. But Antiseret gets a crucial hit on the board. That's going to be a death grind as well. The Tappy Jara dive to come. That's going to increase the damage. And that will put Brachyceratops in killing range. Ooh, but Brachyceratops gets a cheeky little hit there. Amyong Gera dive. Oosh. Right, that's twice. Oh, that's a crit. That's not good. And what's worse, the Awaken Mode does activate here. Sunlight Rabbit was hoping to save it for the Ace Dino Tector, but it is unable to. Of course, two ties here could change that, but with the Plasma Anchor the Brachyceratops has, that, that could change it, but that's a hit. It's going to be Black Booty's victory by the looks of it. I mean, Ankyceratops will survive, but it's well in Black Booty's favour now. Anything will do it. And that'll do it. That's the bonus point victory. And Black Beauty makes it 5 out of 5. And Sunlight Rabbit tasting their first defeat. And that, giving us a bonus point win as well, will probably mean that Black Beauty will win this group. And they are looking really strong in this tournament. Looks set to make a deep run in the knockout rounds. As for Sunlight Rabbit, well... They'll, they'll bounce back. This They've still had a really good tournament. And I su still suspect they will get through to the knockout rounds. But yeah, it, it's a defeat nonetheless. And we'll have a look at the table. We can end the session. Right, that is how Group A looks, ladies and gentlemen. That With that main event result, Black Beauty is officially through to the knockout rounds. Ten points clear of Aster in fifth. And they have the head-to-head -head over them as well. So Black Beauty, our first combatant to officially secure a place in the knockout rounds with five victories. Then we have Sunlight Rabbit above Dexin by the head-to-head. Uh, -head. Dexin currently sitting on 12 points. Both of these two, five clear of Aster with the head-to-head -head advantage as well. Conciliatory passed on 11 points in fourth. Might be nervously looking over their shoulders because Aster is sitting in fifth with seven points. And Raybone finally getting their first win of the tournament sitting on six. Gold stuck on the four points and crown over getting a massive win to get themselves up to four points and while there's still seven adrift the conciliatory pass they do have the head to head but I do suspect the crown over will need two bonus point wins to have a realistic chance of getting through of course then they gotta hope that other results go their way but they've got a glimmer of hope is a glimmer but yeah that's gonna end the session here so I hope you enjoyed and until next time ta-ta